Libra, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your new weekly tarot reading starting this new week of October the 8th up until October the 15th. Without further ado, let's jump right into your reading. For any personal readings, you can check out my personal reading link down in the description box below. Okay, remember that this can be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant in your chart, make sure to check those positions out as well. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. All right, you have here distance. So this has to do with um, being at a distance from something or someone, uh, either from your goal, from your you know aspiration, from a person, place, thing that you want to be close to. We're going to figure this out, but it says here uh, distance, the number 57. How does the number 57 resonate for you? Does it have a significance in your life? Um, the number 57 is also equal to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So something very important will be happening on the 12th of this month, so pay attention to that also. One plus two is equal to three. So the lines of communication will start to open up. Also, this is an indication. Use your communication in order to, you know, get your point across. Um, say something that perhaps you've been holding on to saying. This can also be having to do with tapping into your creativity in order to expand your way forward, expand your opportunities. So if you see the number three, three, oh, three, 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 uh, anywhere, then that is indication there um, for all those things that I just mentioned. Okay. Now here distance, as you can see, there is a globe there, the world, and uh, it's in between hands, two hands, right? So it says here, separated by states, countries, continents, and oceans could have met in an unusual, unusual circumstances while traveling or in an airport or at a train station. Okay. There could be something or somebody here, um, that you might have recently met or will be meeting if you are planning on traveling, um, that kind of vibe. Uh, you will be meeting somebody very, very unusual, but also very significant in unusual circumstances. Again, this could be at an airport and a train station while traveling. Okay, also number three equals to, or it represents travel, right? So if you've been wanting to travel, then there's opportunities out, out there for you, whether for business endeavors, whether it's for love, romanticism, friendship, but there is something here related to you uh, being at a distance, um, you know, and you kind of like um, manifesting something or someone that you want, okay, by uh, being at a distance. Now, of course, for some, you could be at a distance from someone or something or someplace that you want to be uh, close to, etc. Here also, it says, even with this distance, I know that we are never truly apart. We are uh, had an instant connection that can never be matched. I'll travel the world to get closer to you. Uh, this could be, you know, related to anything, a passion, you know, that you discovered while traveling, while being somewhere. This could be perhaps that, you know, you um, felt a connection towards a person, maybe a place that you never thought that you wanted to live at, and you visited that place, and you're like, oh my gosh, right? I really want to be here. It feels like home or a person feels like home to you, but there's somebody here or something here that is at a di distance from you. Either you're planning on being closer to that person, place, thing, passion, project, whatever it is, and or they um, want to plan this towards you. Okay. Let me know in the comments below what that is all pertaining to what that's all about and how that all resonates for you. Let's go and jump right into your past, present, future position. Who and what is coming towards you? What is in your opportunity? And also what is in your challenge position and how to overcome that challenge? Now, remember, let me know in the comments below how this reading all resonates for you. It really helps support me and my channel when you comment down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really, really helps support me and my channel. Thank you all so much for your love, uh, support, comment, all that good stuff. And remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification as well. Okay. Now at the bottom of the deck, you do have here the seven of wands. So with the seven of wands here, when this one wanted to get stuck, okay, we'll take this one. The seven of wands here at the bottom of the deck is an indication uh, where there's something here or somebody around you. This could be you, of course. Somebody here is needing to stand their ground, right? It's like stand your ground in what you believe in. Don't um, don't fold, right? As they say, don't fold. People, places, situations will be pressuring you. Maybe right now you are feeling pressured. You are feeling like, oh my God, you know, I'm about to break. Do not 
break, okay? It's just a reminder because when the pressure is on, that is when something good is about to uh, turn around the corner, right? It's like, the, it's like that exit is going to happen, that final answer is coming in right when you're about like, you're feeling like, okay, I'm going to break, I'm going to break. Do not crumble, okay? Because this is an indication that you will be challenged. You will be pressured. It's not going to be an easy win. But if you, um, you know, draw the line and say, you know what, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in, whether it's with people, place situations around you, one particular, one particular person. This could be job related, career, family, friends, whatever area of your life. It's a general reading. So you take the reading however resonates. Again, stand firm in your conviction and stand your ground. Okay, you are being tested. This means that you are being tested, uh, and uh, you you have it in you. You have it in you. You just have to tap into that, um, you know, uh, spiritual strength within you in order to um, kind of you know drive your way forward. So let's see uh, these other clarifications. Right off the bat, I do see a few energies coming through the reading. You could possibly possibly be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. I see the sign of Gemini. Leo is showing up in the reading. Uh, double Sagittarius, uh, double Leo. Also, you have here the sign of Scorpio, but whatever other sign this is does not necessarily have to be any of those. In your challenge position, let's jump right into that. You do have here uh, the lovers, the strength, and the knight of swords. So what these energies are saying, yeah, is that it's a little bit challenging for you to see eye to eye within a uh, connection situation. This connection can be related to a lover. Of course, it could be a friend, a family member, a coworker, a boss. It can literally be any kind of connection. There's a choice that you are needing to make. Okay, you're going to have to make a choice about this person, right? Uh, it's like you're being tested. Okay, there's going to be some kind of a choice. Is this true? Is this is this somebody that you can count on? Is this somebody true? Um, true to you, right? Are they being honest with you? Is this somebody that you want to build something with, whether it's you want to build a career, you want to work with this person, you want to, you know, um, who knows, maybe build a relationship, a connection, a business, whatever it is. Is this the person, the type of person that, that, uh, that you really want to, um, integrate with, right? These are the questions that need to be asked right now. However, it will be a little bit challenging for you to ask yourself these questions because I see that there is a disconnect, whether it's an emotional disconnect, a physical disconnect, either you're at a distance from each other and or it could be, um, you know, right now you just don't see eye to eye, that kind of thing. One person could be uncommittal um, and the other person could be all in, right? That could also be an issue, uncommittal uh, behaviors and kind of stem from the situation and or inconsistent behavior, whether it's, again, it could be any area of your life, a job, person, career, family, friends, lovers, whatever this is, okay? I'm also seeing here that part of the challenge is, yeah, you feel like you're not strong enough. You know, you feel like you don't have it in you. You feel like you're about to break. You feel like, oh my God, I'm about to break. There's so much pressure. There's so much stress. Do not crumble. Okay. I see here that part of the pressure has to do with the fact that you and this individual are very different from each other. However, there are similarities. There are similarities that you both may not be um, paying attention to. Your focus is on separation instead of integration. And that is what's challenging both you and this individual at this particular moment. I'm seeing here that that is um, where, you know, the lack of strength comes in where you're like, no, well, you know, it's like you don't have it in you to keep trying to keep putting in work and effort, whatever this is. Okay. That's how you're feeling. You know, that's a little bit of a challenge for you to tap into your strength. That's why I'm reminding you tap into your strength. Don't give up. Don't crumble. I do see here that it could be a little bit challenging to deal with a personality type of person who is lashing out, who might be very pushy, might be communicating way too much, way too quickly. Okay. Um, it could just be uh, the fact that somebody here is being mean, saying mean things, that kind of vibe. Somebody here might uh, be getting triggered or has recently gotten triggered and is it's creating a little bit of a uh, of tension between you this person or uh, who whatever this is let me in the comments below which area of your life that pertains to and what it's all about your focus right now should be on spiritual detox okay uh, you need to start releasing negative thoughts negative people and um, negative situations you know even old ways of thinking from your life you need to spiritually detox from people circumstances ideas situations that are not healthy for you. 
Okay. Major spiritual awakening, cleanse and rebirth. So the reason why this disconnect, this, you know, tension is happening right now in your life is because it is alerting you. You need to spiritually detox. Okay. There's something there in the situation that is not making you feel comfortable. It's not making you feel at ease. You're not at peace with something. So you need to do some kind of spiritual work detox. You can either do that through meditation. You can do that through exercise, yoga. You can do that through, you know, um, journaling. You can, there's so many ways you can Google you know, how to do a spiritual detox. Of course, you can include things like Palo Santo, right? Sage, wherever you are, sage yourself, sage your environment. You can go get um, some kind of spiritual cleansing if you feel that you're not strong enough to do it on yourself, right? You can do even just something simple like a, like a salt bath, right? Something simple in meditation, just close your eyes, right? Whatever works for you, okay? Whatever works for you, that it's what, that, that's what this is indicating. But make sure that it's about releasing negative thoughts, people, situations, circumstances from your life in order to cleanse that energy. Even, you know, uh, getting rid of the clutter around your home, things that remind you of negative things, negative people, stop listening to music, stop watching shows that only, you know, kind of take you into that spiraling type of energy where you just kind of like feel stressed, okay? Again, turn off that television for a while, uh, switch off that channel, okay? Um, whatever it is that you need to do in order to find your peace. Now, in your um, recent past, you also have here the Five of Swords, the Temperance, as well as a Page of Wands. So, yeah, in the recent past, I see here that there was some kind of um, situation that turned very ugly, okay? There was some kind of situation between you, a person, or a group of people where, you know, you guys had an argument, there was some kind of an argument, some kind of a disagreement, but this disagreement turned into something very bitter, right? It was like a bitter type of ending. Somebody here may have done something out of spite just to hurt you or you towards them, whoever did this, okay? Um, but I feel like either, you know, somebody here was doing this on purpose, Um it was it was almost as if it was like a, like a cry for attention, but it was a very negative way of trying to get the person's attention, okay? Now, I'm seeing here that you try to heal, you try to balance out your feelings, your emotions, okay? You were very patient with the process with this person, with the situation. You tried to be very patient, even though you knew that they were doing something on purpose to you. And at some point, I do see that you started to feel better, Okay, you start to feel better whether you distance yourself from that person, whether you know you found something else to focus on. But I feel like you start to feel a lot better. There was a positive message that came through, okay, and it made you feel inspired. Whether it was a brand new opportunity that you jumped on, and you were like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to focus on my career. I'm going to focus on my health. I'm going to focus on this project. I'm going to focus on this, that, whatever it was. Okay, you felt like, okay, you know what? I'm ready for an adventure. Even maybe you took a vacation. But I feel like something here, you know. Um, led to you starting something new. Now, I see here that what triggered somebody here, it could have been a third party situation, whether there was a third influence here getting in the way, right? Uh, two people advising this person in the wrong kind of way. Uh, it could have been um, a love triangle for some of you guys, if this is uh, career related or family or whatever else. It could have just been gossip, right? It could have been other people, you know, being against you, talking to this person um, in a way, in such a way where, uh, you know, they wanted to manipulate them against you in, in some kind of way, shape or form, right? So there is, there was another energy interfering in this situation, in this connection. Uh, there was a sense of competition, okay? Could have just been the fact that this person felt jealous of you. This person felt like a sense of competition, like they wanted to compete with you. Let, let's see who can hurt who the most, right? And so, you know, by them hurting you, they only ended up hurting themselves because, this is an empty victory. This person here who, you know, the man here in, in front of the, the picture who he seemingly kind of like the winner, right? He took all the swords from those two guys in the back and those two guys are kind of like looking down, but this guy's like, yeah, you know, I, I took those swords from them. He's not happy. He's not at peace with himself. Not at all. He knows that he will not be able to live with himself in a sense, right? So let me know in the comments below what that was pertaining to, what that was all about um, for you, which area of your life, career, love, family, friends, whatever else that was. Now, in your present energies, you have your the Ace of Cups, the Eight of uh, Pentacles, and the Death. So right now, I see that there is some kind of enlightenment happening that is 
bringing up some kind of healing for some of you guys, some kind of healing energy for others of you guys, a brand new beginning in love, whether you're about to meet somebody here, fall in love with them, they're going to fall in love with you. Remember, you could be meeting this person at a distance, at a place, at a different place. You know, you guys could be meeting each other or have met each other, you know, uh, randomly, like just, just kind of uh, happened by happenstance, or it could just be uh, in unusual circumstances as this says, right? So some kind of a brand new beginning in love. This can also be, of course, the offer from the universe extending out its hand towards you. It, it, it's also an offer, a literal offer. You could be getting an offer here that's going to inspire you. It's going to invigorate you, whether it's a job offer, whether it's a friendship offer, love offer, you know, whatever kind of offer that's going to inspire you. For others, it's some kind of um, situation here that's going to help you heal as well. However, I see that you're putting in the work, you're putting in the effort, you're very focused on something. You're very focused on a project, on your career, on your pentacles, on making money, whatever that is. But there's something here also coming to an end, okay? There's something here transforming you, finally. There's something here that is transforming you for the better. Either you're putting something to an end, leaving something behind, or accepting an ending for what it is, which is equal to your transformation, enlightenment it says here the truth has been illuminated i cannot hide from what you have shown me either you are being illuminated you are going to be enlightened right uh finally you're getting that eureka moment i've got it now i understand why things had to happen the way that they've been happening right like no longer confused for others of you you are going to be receiving an enlightenment where you felt confused at one point you're soon going to be feeling like okay you know what finally the truth has been illuminated this truth will set you free you can no longer hide from what this situation is showing you, what the universe is showing you. For others of you guys, a person around you will be enlightened. Okay. Once you put something to an end, once you, they see that you're not giving up, you're not giving in. Okay. Um, you're not allowing them to step all over you. Then that's when this person will no longer be able to hide, um, from the truth and what you are showing them. So somebody here is about to be enlightened or has recently been, been enlightened, whether you, this other person or both of you. Okay. Let me know in the comments below what that's all pertaining to, what that is all about. Now you also have here in the near future, the eight of wands, the sun, as well as the king of pentacles. So in the near future, I do see here that the lines of communication that have been closed off, things that have been rather slow dragging along, you're like, oh my God, when is this finally going to move forward? When is it going to happen? It's finally going to open up. These lines of communication are finally going to open up, okay? Uh, the Perhaps you've been wanting to travel, but for one reason or another, you haven't been able to. You're finally going to be able to travel. You're finally going to be able to free yourself, okay? The opportunities are going to start coming into your life left and right. Doors are going to start opening up for you. So be prepared because even if right now you don't see it coming, it's coming into the near future. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, financial stability, financial abundance. You may be meeting a person here in the near future who is very financially stable, very loyal, consistent. Okay. You can count on them whenever you need something. Okay. That kind of vibe. I am also seeing here that you're going to be very happy in the near future. Something here is going to come to the light. That's going to put a smile on your face as well. Of course, it could also be you being financially abundant, that kind of vibe. Now 5D, it says here, you made me realize that we are one. So meet me in the stars tonight. In the near future, you're going to be meeting a person where this person is going to realize that you guys are one, whether it's one teammate, right? A business partner, a friendship, a relationship, a connection, romantic, whatever, whoever this is. It could be a family member, but you know, you guys are very connected in the 5D. It's going to be an undeniable type of union, friendship, connection, that kind of vibe. Now let's go and jump right into your opportunity. You have here the two of pentacles, the knight of wands and the queen of wands. So in your opportunity, you will have an opportunity to finally make a decision. Okay. I feel like you have been rather undecided. You've been trying to make a decision. Should I do this? Should I do that? You're going to finally get an opportunity to say, you know what? This is what I want to do. This is what I this is what I want to pursue, and this is where I'm headed. So I feel like you're going to start feeling that kind of like motivation, inspiration to move your way forward. You know, nudge your way forward um, in some kind of positive direction. I'm also seeing here that your confidence is definitely going to uh, activate. Okay, your confidence level. You're going to be feeling more alive, more enthusiastic. For others of you guys, you will be meeting an individual. You're going to have an opportunity to meet a person, to meet an individual who is very extroverted in nature. This person could be a lot of fun to be around. They could be very attracted to you. They might be 
chasing you, following you, or just kind of wanting to sweep you off your feet, right? That charm or trying to charm you, that kind of vibe, okay? But it's a very inspirational type of individual. Very, um, like, they, they, come, they come in with a lot of momentum, okay? Like, if you've been ra feeling, like, rather, like, uh, bored or, like, you know, you feel like uh, you've been stuck in a in a in a routine that you just wanted to change. This person's going to come in and just kind of like break you out of that routine. Okay. Now you see your energy. You're going to be getting a lot more energy. Okay. If you've been feeling tired, if you've been feeling like oh I don't know, you know, it takes you time to do things that you're procrastinating. That energy is just going to activate. That's going to be part of your opportunity. That's where you're going to know. You're going to say oh my god. This is it. This is this is the moment, right? And so it says here, I have transformed into my higher self because of the situation or because of this person. Your energy has changed me. Somebody's energy is going to come in to inspire you, to motivate you, to encourage you, okay? It's going to make you feel alive again. For others of you guys, this is how you're going to be making that other person feel and they will be realizing that only you, your presence, your energy, your, um, you know, your vibe is the one that nudges them forward, motivates them, inspires them, etc. Now we're going to look deeper into this whole situation, how it's all going to turn out for you in the extended. And in the extended is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, and how this whole situation is all going to turn out and develop for you. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link to the extended is down in the description box below, as well as in the first comment that is linked down below. And also, quick reminder, if you do want to support the channel, you can do so by commenting down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, you have no idea how much it helps support me and my channel. Thank you all so much for your support. Of course, also like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you want to check out all of the readings for your sign for this entire month, last week's readings, this week's readings, your monthly readings, and all the readings that I have for you for this entire month, you can check out the first comment that I pinned down below and you will see all the links for all those readings down there. Thank you all so much for watching. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time. Bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with some psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop. And follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.